Hey everybody, it's that time again, much delayed for Daryl's Monday Market Report. So before we get into the numbers, just want to talk about what I'm seeing going on in the market. Uh, I'm noticing in some neighborhoods that uh, you may not be getting as many over list price offers as you were. They may be closer to what the home's listed at, depending on condition and location. So. Just wanted to bring that up and keep keep you all abreast of what, what I see going on. It, it's going to depend on, again, neighborhood condition of the property. But let's get to the numbers. So this week, there are 1,235 properties in all of Collin County in the last seven days, either new to the market or that have sold. That's up 77 from last week. So... 349 properties were new to the market or had price changes in Collin County last week. 333 went under contract. 159 went pending. And look at this, 394 sold. So again, still short on inventory. And also, if you know someone that's wanting to lease, it's the same way there. Multiple applications over list price, over monthly list price offers from renters, some paying a year up front in rent. So if you're thinking maybe I should invest in a rental property, that's just how the market is right now. So it might, might not be a bad time to think about that. So this week in Allen, we had 34 new properties hit the market or had a price change. We had 28 go under contract, 13 went pending and look at this, 40 sold. So again, negative replenishment of inventory all over the board. Lucas this week had eight new properties hit the market or had a price change. We had four that went under contract, two that went pending, and four that sold. So between the pending and under contracts by themselves, that wiped out the new inventory that had came in uh, in Parker this week. Or actually, sorry, Lucas. This weekend, that was Lucas. So Parker this week, we had four new properties hit the market or had a price change. One went under contract, nothing went pending, and nothing sold. So a little more inventory in the last seven days in Parker that uh, might have replenished at least two extra this week. And uh, in Fairview this week, we had six new properties hit the market or had a price change. We had five that went under contract, one that went pending, and eight that sold. And in Plano, okay, so again, this time every week I talk about the the three uh, cities that have the most properties on the under status from new to the market or under contract this week. First place is McKinney with 268. Frisco, back at number two, 256. And uh, Plano's at 230. Speaking of Plano, 72 new properties hit the market or had a price change there. We had 70 go under contract. So basically wiped out all the inventory that just hit the market. We had 31 that went pending and 57 that sold. McKinney this week, 77 new properties hit the market or had a price change. We had 83 go under contract, 33 that went pending and 75 sold. So you can see the velocity of properties hitting the market, going under contract to pending and sold. It's just super fast. Frisco this week, we had 75 new properties that hit the market or had a price change. We had 53 under contract, 41 went pending, and 84 sold. And Melissa this week, 15 new properties hit the market or they had a price change. We had four go under contract, six that went pending, and 13 that sold. So basically, the new properties barely replenished what sold in the market this week. And when you add in the, the pending center contract, net zero gain. Princeton this week, eight new properties hit the market or had a price change. We had nine go under contract, eight that went pending. And look at this, 25 that sold, three times the number of property. Now, there is a lot of new construction in Princeton, so that could be affecting the numbers there. Just keep that in mind. I know that uh, LGI has built a couple large subdivisions out that way. Wiley, we had 14 new properties hit the market or had a price change. 
We had 25 that went under contract. Look at that. 11 went pending and 37 sold. So, Wiley, things are moving super fast. Anna, we had seven new properties hit the market this week or had a price change. We had eight that went under contract, five that went pending, and 16 that sold. So more than double the number sold that hit the market this week. Levine, we had seven new properties hit the market this week or had a price change. We had three go under contract, nothing new went pending, only one sold. So in Levine, you might actually have a chance to find a house if you're looking out that way. Farmersville this week, Three new properties hit the market or we had a price change on them. Five that went under contract, nothing went pending, and we had three that sold. And Van Alstine, nine properties hit the market this week or had a price change. We had two go under, <laughs> two go under contract, seven that went pending, and seven that sold. So I've been talking about doing some other videos about what's going on with some corporations buying up properties here. Super busy this week. Hopefully I can get to it by Friday, but uh, gonna be creating some new content. If you have any questions about what's going on in your neighborhood, your area, even if it's not in Collin County, feel free to reach out to me. All my contact information's at the end of this video. Hope you're enjoying the cooler weather and I hope we get plenty of rain this week. I will see you next week. Have a great one.